But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite to invite your friends and let us have a great time together. Today before we start, you know, we heard the news that uh, Abdul, from the followers of the great Satan, peace be upon him, Muhammad, he attacked Salma Rushdie. And the news is all over. You know, just type the word Salma Rushdie and you will see the news. Now, based on what happened, I am afraid I cannot talk about Islam no more. I cannot say Muhammad is stupid. They will attack me. We are really intimidated. So I'm thinking, what is a word I can use instead of a stupid, which will not cause the terrorist to follow me? Hmm. I mean, donkey, it's been used and abused. Camel, eh, camel is a good animal. Pig is useful. I don't know. I cannot describe Muhammad more than Satan. So I hope that will not offend the terrorist. So if I say Satan, are you okay with that? Please, because you are a terrorist and you believe in voting and you believe in the freedom of speech, let me know if you agree with the word Satan. You know, when this guy, he wrote a book and he called it Satanic Verses, why Muslim could have said, isn't it your book says Muhammad received Satanic Verses? I mean, those stupid donkeys, they read the verse every day in the Quran that Muhammad received Satanic Verses and Allah will take it off from the Quran. And then when somebody says, oh, you know, the prophet here receives satanic verses, they get upset. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with the religion? What's wrong with the followers of this idiot Muhammad? Did I say idiot? Oh, man, they will attack me now. I wrote, I wrote many books, and this guy wrote nothing about Islam. I am the one who wrote books about Islam. So... Is it true that Muhammad received satanic verses? And now guess Muslims, do you know how many people who never heard of this guy, especially from the younger generation, they will start buying his book again? And you know the funny is that Allah cannot kill him. And Abdul, he think he can do what Allah could not do. <laughs> you know actually, I have a, I have a question for Salman Rushdie. How in the world he accept to go to a state like New York? You know, don't you know that this is a state of liberals? How oh, even those terrorists, they get inside the room. When everybody knows it was Salman Rushdie. How they get inside and they have a weapon with them. New York. You go to New York, idiot. In the city of New York, people, they go to a jewelry store. They break all the windows. They take all the jewelry and they go. New York. Any state in USA is run by liberals is literally screwed. Never live in them, never stay in them, and never be 
an immigrant to them. If you seek security, if you seek a real place, never live in a state run by Democrat. As you see, anything they touch, it come to dust. And now because the Mohammedan, they attack Salman Rushdie, I have to be worried about my life. So I decide not to insult Muhammad no more. So let us talk about this donkey. His name is Muhammad. <clears throat> we have some videos here. And those videos, oh, this is Salman Rushdie when he was young. I mean, look how coward they are. They're attacking a guy. He is 75 years old. A bunch of cowards. Like their prophet who attacked Abu, you know, Abu Rafa. He was more than 85 years old and he sent somebody to assassinate him. He told him, I want to borrow something from you, the Muslim. Then he followed him to his room. And in his room, he killed him. And aware. I mean, do you see how coward this religion is? This is a religion. Those Muslims, they say to you that the prophet, he have a warrior. He have cowards. Very old man. You attack him. Aren't you ashamed? But anyway, what do you expect? Followers of the one who receives satanic verses. They act like Satan. They will do what Satan does. So here we have. Let me see where is the video. Give me a second. Yeah. Where is the video? I uh, hold on. Three questions to Prophet Muhammad. I had to restart my computer. Look like I lost. Uh, uh, the video which I was going to play. Let me go to history. Maybe we can find it. Um, <clears throat> okay. It cannot be found in the history too. What happened? Let us see here. Um, where are you? Hmm. Let us see here, maybe. Okay, maybe this one here. Yeah, I guess this one. So, brother and sisters, Muhammad is a true prophet. How he proved that he is a prophet? The Jews, they came to him and they asked him three questions. And you know, I do not know what the point of those three questions. Everything in Islam is a three. Muhammad, he shake hand three. Muhammad, he say, Assalamu alaikum three. Muhammad, he blow his nose three. Muhammad, he wash his hand three times. Muhammad, everything he do is a three time. And now they want to know if he is a prophet or not. So they come to him, the Jews, and they said to him, we are going to give you three questions. Nobody can answer them except a prophet of God. And by those, if you answer them correctly, we can determine if you are really a prophet or not. And you know, the funny here, the Sheikh is saying to you that, you know, you want to understand the Quran, you go to the Quran. 
<laughs> facade. Facade in entertainment. Facade in the bedroom. And you cannot recognize that facade. You should go back to school. And if you recognize that it is universal facade today, and you don't go to the Quran to search for the explanation, you should go back to school. Because Allah says that He sent the Quran to explain all things. <laughs> he sent the Quran, the Quran, the Quran to explain all things. You'll have to forgive me if I keep on repeating certain things because I've been saying it for 20 years now and they can't hear me. Brother, sorry, uh, can I say something? Comment. Donkeys, brother, donkeys. He is saying to 20, for 20 years, the Quran is the one who explained everything. 20 years. So why you have Ibn Kathir and Al-Qurtubi and Al-Jalalain and what the heck is that? And why even you have the Hadith as long as the Quran explain everything? Continue, continue. So I have to repeat and again and again and again. Quraysh did not know hmm. how to determine the validity of the claim of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala uh -huh. that he was indeed a prophet as he claimed okay so they sent a delegation hmm. intelligently so so now those are Quraysh guys Quraysh the pagan supposedly they send a delegation to 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 examine if Muhammad is a prophet or not how they can do that tell us to the rabbis in ah. the northern city of Yathrib Ah, they asked the Jews for help. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell us, how can we determine whether or not he is indeed a prophet like unto Ibrahim, alayhi salam, Musa, alayhi salam. I mean, can you believe this is stupidity? How they are pagans and they believe in Ibrahim and they believe in Musa. What the heck with this religion, man? So they are pagan who worship stones and they believe in Ibrahim and Musa's brother? Mm. Suleiman So they said, ask him these three questions. Uh, thank you, Zaki. Thank you. Brother, ask him those three questions. If he can answer them, he's a prophet. If he could not, he is not a prophet. Any one of you would like to get the license now to be a prophet? Learn those questions and those answers, and now you can announce yourself to be a prophet. Thank you. Yeah. Ask him these three questions, which only a Nabi can answer. Look what the heck. I mean, do you see the stupidity of this garbage, Muhammad? How only a prophet can answer? And they knew the answer. People, do you see how stupid donkey is Muhammad is? Excuse me, terrorist, don't be offended. I'm not insulting the prophet. I'm giving him a rank. Don't attack me in the stage like Salman Rushdie. I'm scared now. If nobody know the answer for them except a prophet, how they knew the answer? Because later they will agree. They say, yes, correct. This is the correct answer. Like, what the heck? So all the rabbis, they knew the correct answer and nobody knows the answer for those things except a prophet. That's mean all those rabbis are prophets. I want to know where the donkeys coming from. Some said that donkeys are aliens. Some said that donkeys are not. But they are Democrat. And I said, what is your proof? He said, look at their flag, donkey. I went, you know, as a uh, Middle Eastern Arab immigrant, I came to this country and I, I, I said, what the heck? Democrat, uh, <clears throat> they have a flag. Let us see, uh, what is the flag? You know, I mean, you have to be proud to be a Democrat. Look at this, donkey.
I am sure that the one who come with this story, he is either descendant from Prophet Joe Biden, peace be upon him, or he is a member of the Democratic Party. But they are not sure even what is women until now. Let me call my mom and ask her, Mom, what is mom? What is women? <laughs> so three questions, brother and sisters. Nobody know the answer for them except the prophet of God. The only prophet of God. I mean, let us face it. Let us face it together. I mean, you can play dumb, you can play stupid, you can play ignorant, but you cannot ignore the truth that this is a very genius situation. Three questions, three answers, bingo, you are a prophet. Mm. Do I have a TikTok? Yeah, you know, I have a neighbor actually have TikTok. You know, across the street, he have like those all the clock. They keep making like TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. And then, you know, I, I went to him. I said, do you want to wanna sell this clock? He said, uh, uh, sure. So I bought it. I throw it in the garbage because I want to sleep, man. For God's sake, I want to sleep. TikTok. What are you talking about? We have a lot of TikTok in this world. Don't you see the TikTok in the front of you? This is the tick. And that is the talk. Listen carefully for three questions. Nobody knows them except prophet of God. In the northern city of Yathrib. Tell us, how can we determine whether or not he is indeed a prophet like unto Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Suleiman alayhi salam. So they said, Ask him these three questions. Uh, thank you, Zaki. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Zaki. Ask him these three questions, hmm. which only a Nabi can answer. Only, brother. Only. So not even... What is it called now? Yeah. A moment of losing memory. His finger is up, his eyes to the right, then his eyes go to the left, and now he's looking at the audience, and now he grabs his fingers, and he's trying to find out, hmm, what? Hmm? Ah, uh, uh, hmm. Squeeze it, squeeze it, it's coming. Come on. Not even... You can make it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, are, are you sure you are not the cousin of Joe Biden? Anyway, hey, continue, continue. Yale and Harvard and the Sorbonne. So all these quiet moments to search for the word Harvard, and how hard it is to find it, Harvard. Uh, okay. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology, no? Or Oxford or Cambridge or, mm. uh, or, or the International Islamic University. <laughs> Only a prophet can answer. Nobody can answer the question. I'm telling you, this is, this is serious, man. Nobody can answer those questions. Not Harvard, not uh, the Institute of uh, Hunters. They cannot answer it. And when I say the Institute of Hunters, I mean uh, Hunter Biden Institute. No, nobody can answer those questions. You know the thing. You know the thing. For the sake of the shin of Allah, tell us what the question, man. We are so excited now. No one is. So what kind of questions is this? Man. The knowledge does not exist in this world. No. And one of the questions was, <laughs> ask him about the ruh. The spirit. <laughs> I have to stop him here for a second, guys. <laughs> so what the question? Ask him about the ruh, the spirit. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, you got a point there. Uh, yeah. This is the same story uh, reported by a sheikh like him. But the story does not match the story. The first question asked him about the spirit. The first question asked him about a ruh. Ruh means spirit. في حديث ابن عباس رضي الله عنهما عند أحمد والنسائي a group of rabbis came to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم Prophet, yeah I'm smiling to Musa here always when, when, when we hit that route I have to give you a smile yeah, yeah uh, if, if you don't know who Musa is, Musa used to, to be a Jewish uh, scholar, actually. If, if yeah, how you give him a smile if he is not there? I mean, the guy is dead anyway. Yeah, a Jewish learned hmm. person in the Torah. He used to, to teach the Torah. Uh -huh. So a group of Jewish rabbis uh -huh. came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet. فقالوا يا محمد. They said, oh Muhammad. We're going to ask you about four things. لا يعلمها إلا. Oh, it was a three. Now it is four. I mean, do you see how Islamic stories are consistent? We want to ask you about four things. The other Abdul is a sheikh too. We want to ask you about three things. Hmm. Okay, okay, we are getting closer. We're going to ask you about four things. Only a prophet would know the answer. Sure, sure. <laughs> Shoot, go ahead. Shoot, go ahead. Uh, of course, he didn't say that, but... Yeah. For sure, for go sure. Go ahead, ask me. Yeah. ما اسم الطعام الذي حرمه إسرائيل على نفسه? What is the name of the food which Israel made it unlawful upon himself? <laughs> Brother, those questions nobody knew the answers except every Jew and every rabbi at that time. So this is a question only prophet of God knows. And now, what is the food prophet Israel he forbid himself from eating hey Muslims what's wrong with you this is a question nobody knows the answer for it except a rabbi, except a, a prophet so the rabbis will be asking the question do they the answer how many of them they are like 10,000 rabbis at that time secondly what is the food uh, Israel he forbid himself what the heck is that what what he forbid himself from? Tell us. Who's Israel first? Jacob. Okay, where do you can find Jacob? You see the other guy, he says everything is in the Quran. I keep repeating for 20 years, all the explanation is in the Quran. So if we ask this other donkey there, where we can find who is Jacob or Israel in the Quran? Hmm? No answer. Nowhere in the Quran it says how Jacob became in Israel. And nowhere it says that Jacob is in Israel. Nowhere. Continue. So that is the first uh, food, brother. Okay, let us continue. What is the second question? كل الطعام كان حلا لبني إسرائيل إلا ما حرم إسرائيل على نفسه من قبل أن تنزل التوراة قل فأتوا بالتوراة فتلوها إن كنتم صادقين All food was lawful for the children of Israel except what Israel made a lawful for himself So they are asking what is the name of that food <laughs> طيب The second question How does a woman end up with a boy or a girl if, 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 if. the process how what affects that how would a mother have a girl or a boy that is two three 
What is the first meal the people of Jannah will eat when they enter Jannah? Brother, serious questions. The second one is the best. The rest are very serious. Uh, brother, the first, uh, first food the uh, Israel, he forbid himself, is farafil. Uh, no, no, I forgot it was a camel. <laughs> and that will cause a problem later. So uh, you see, they ask him how if men and women have sex, why the baby will be a boy or why it's going to be a girl? Why? Why? Huh? Muhammad, he answer later. For what is the most famous description of the illiterate prophet, you, mentioned in our books? Ah. Uh, Guys, look, they gave him the answer there. What is the most important question of the illiterate prophet in our book? <laughs> but the Jews, they have illiterate prophet in their book. He is a, he's a hypocrite. He's not really a prophet. <laughs> Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala lahum. He said to them, I want you to take an oath. Oh, and the one who revealed the Torah to Musa. That's deep. That if I answer you correctly, mm. you will follow me. Absolutely. You will believe. They said, yes, we take an oath. Mm -hmm. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the food which Musa, uh, which uh, uh, Israel, Ya'qub alayhi salam, made unlawful for himself was the meat and the milk of the camel. Top. As long Israel, he forbid himself from eating milk and meat of the camel. How Muhammad allow it? And as long Allah he approved what he forbid to himself, how come Allah allow it for Muhammad? That's deep. And where he got this from? Abdul. Abdul. Continue. And he told him the story that he had a pain uh, in his spinal or he had some sort of a pain in his spinal and he said, لَإِنْ شَفَانِي Allah." Mm -hmm. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would cure me, I will give up eating milk and meat. Wait, wait, wait. Where Jacob was living, uh, brother uh, Sheikh uh, uh, Karim, I mean, uh, why this guy is eating, it looked like he was eating camel every day in the morning. <laughs> Is that normal that the Jews or in the old days this guy is eating camels? Camels? He give up eating camels, don't have sheep, don't I mean what is the what is the sacrifice he did exactly? I mean, do you see the stupidity? If you God, if you please, please, if you do heal me, I will stop eating beef. I will eat only camel and lamb and chicken and fish and this and uh, shrimp and uh, you know. But uh, about camel, I will not eat no more. If you if you heal me, <laughs> I mean, do you see you see the exchange between him and the God? You know, you heal me. I told stop eating camel and okay. Well, what the heck is that? I mean, also what kind of a promise this promise is? Continue. Eat of camels. Hmm. You got this one. Brother, a question. So he can eat pork. But he should not eat camel. Oh. Mm -hmm. I see. Why he did not choose to forbid himself from eating pork? Do you think that eating camel was making him sick? This is why. طيب. Now, this is the second question. This is, will make Muhammad hummus forever. We don't want to get in, we have a lot of kids sitting. Yeah, brother, we have a lot of kids here. We can go in details, okay? Islam is not for kids, okay? You have a lot of kids sitting. Why they are there? 
Uad. Okay, so now he is going to explain to you why the man, when he has sex with a baby, his baby can be a boy or the baby can be a girl. Why? So I'm going to just cross over that cross. quickly about the, the boy and the girl thing. But really the message here that uh, because in, in a lot of cultures, uh, men, if the woman keeps having girls, what do they do? Huh? They divorce her and go and marry another one because thinking that she is the reason. Actually, you are the reason. Mm -hmm. That's the bottom line. You know, here you might think, oh, this is scientific. The man is the reason. Mm -hmm. But listen to what he would say now, what he meant by that. Not her. The man is actually the one who is responsible for uh, the gender. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't want to get, because we do have a lot of underage here. He's looking at me. Come on, man. <laughs> He's looking at me. So he told him how it happens. How? إذا سبق ماء الرجل ماء المرأة في لف وإذا على ماء الرجل ماء المرأة If the uh, sexual discharge of a man comes before the women or more than the women uh, leave it at that. قالوا صدقت Oh boy. So if you discharge first if you the man discharge first the baby will be a boy. And the Jews they said to him you are right. Bingo! How oh, you know this, man? And do you see now how we prove that Muhammad is a prophet of God? That is a pure science. All the boys in the chat, give me one. If you are a boy, if you are a man, give me one in the chat. Come on, come on, come on. How many of you are male? Give me male in the chat. If you are Democrat, don't forget this question. Jump over it because you are Democrat. You don't know what is women and what is man. You know, it will take you forever to answer this question. Just skip it if you are Democrat. If you are a man, give me one in the chat. Okay. All right. So let me tell you what happened in the bedroom of between your mother and your father. With my respect to them. Brother, it was your father who have orgasm first. And this is why you are a boy. Now we know where the sentence which is saying, oh boy, is coming from. So your father now is having sex and he have orgasm first. And now he's finished. And then what he will say, oh boy. Now, if you are a female, give me two in the chat. If you are a female, again, if you are a Democrat, skip this question because it's very hard for you because you do not know what is women. So skip it if you are a Democrat. If you are a female, give me two in the chat. We have only one female in the chat. Two females. Three females. Four females. Five females. Six females, seven females, seven 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 seven
I need to learn how to practice myself, not to do that. I don't want my son to look like me. I prefer to have a girl. You know, I will marry a beautiful woman and I will never come first. That is really horrible. My son will shoot me actually if I, you know, like, what, look what you did to me. Can't you wait for two seconds more? Can't you wait? I mean, do you see how they examine that Muhammad is a prophet? Brothers and sisters, the truth is like light, and the light now appear for us. <sighs> the Messenger of Allah, PBUH, by the way, those are his degrees. Don't think that the Muslims are worshipping him or praising him. No, 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 no. Those are degrees Muhammad, he got from... Or Fard, Fard uh, University. I mean, it's not easy to get Harf, from Harvard University degree. The man water is thick and white. Muhammad, how do you know that? That's amazing. How do you discover this man? And the women water is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child resemble the parents. And you are telling me that he is not a prophet. Who in the world want to believe this guy Salman Rushdi? We have a true prophet here. Pure, pure, pure science. But I have a question for Prophet Muhammad. What if the man and the women, they have orgasm in the same second? What the baby will be? Hmm. Let me think. I got it. Nancy Bellucci. It's obvious. If the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. If both of them have orgasm in the same time, the baby will be Joe Biden. What the heck is that? Obviously, Prophet Muhammad, he got his science, scientific degree from Harvard University. And Muhammad, by the way, he speak about the women. This charge have the reason is the reason for the baby to be a girl. Look, look, look. The water of the women is thin and yellow. This is when a woman, she came to him and she was touching herself during nighttime. Uh, I mean, look, look who is the customers of Prophet. A woman, she is coming to the Prophet, saying to him, Hello, honey Prophet. Yesterday I was touching myself and there was a water there. You know, there, let me show you here. Okay, let me lift the skirt up. And then, should I wash it there? The Prophet, you look. Mm, mm, yeah, it's yellow. Yeah, and thin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you better wash. Yeah. Mm. And then a brother, the wife of Muhammad, she was there. And she said to Muhammad, do even women have this charge? Which is telling us that Muhammad never gave his wife orgasm. The wife of Muhammad never, never had orgasm because she was asking, do even women have this charge? And who is the one is asking the wife of Muhammad? What is that telling you? Do you see how nice the prophet is? He don't want the women to discharge. She will lose energy. He always is. <laughs> she, she don't even know that there is really a woman she discharged. I mean, look what a scandal. Muslims, how the wife of the prophet, she never had discharge. Huh? And the Muslim, they try to cover it. They say, no, she is asking if she has sexual. No. What sexual brain? They are talking about this charge. Do the women have this charge? Um Salama said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, does that really happen? <laughs> he said, Yes. Yes. 
And this is the proof that this is about this charge. He started describing the charge. So he said, the water of the man is thick and white and the water of the women is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first will resemble the child. I don't like it when CP uh, do politics. Did I hurt your feeling? You must be Democrat. Oh, Democrat are very sensitive. They kill babies, but they are sensitive. <laughs> they support abortion, but they are very sensitive. I'm done. I'm done. I cannot take it no more. When CB talk about politics, I'm done. My friend, you are already done long time ago. I mean, you are overcooked. What done? What the heck was that? And what are you done? You you are done since you start war, you know voting for Balusi. I mean, even her name is well Balusi. What is that? Is that like an alien name or something? I mean, those people they will never go. They will stay in the office for centuries, and we die. People come, die. People come, die, and they stay there. By the way, I know I want to I want to go to Thailand because I want to. Looks so good, like Balusi. You know, I'm going to make a surgery, and I uh, will do face lifting. And uh, I did many face lifting until now, to the point my belly bomb is next to my nose. I mean, I don't know how many face lifting I can do. Anyway, in the case of the women, see that she must take a bath. What women? A woman? She is touching herself, a brother. And the man discharge are e the sperm is thick and white and the women discharge is thin and yellow and by the way this women who have thin and yellow look my muhammad he never met a woman she have a normal discharge because i'm not a doctor i'm not expert but someone was supposed to is a doctor he said women they have yellow discharge only when they have infection I mean, this guy want to give me drama with his bye and goodbye. Just get lost, man. What the heck was this guy? Bye, I'm leaving. Okay, I'm leaving. You know, this you remind me of the Middle Eastern. The Middle Eastern, he like he is now upset. Okay, guys, I'm leaving, okay? I'm leaving and nobody answer. Okay, I'm leaving. And honestly, I'm leaving. I'm telling you, I'm leaving. Okay, go. You know, no. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm not kidding. I'm going to leave. Just go, man. Never come back here. What a stupid idiot. You want to make a drama? And here is the hadith they are talking about, which each one of them is giving us a different story. If you read here, it says that three things, not four things. We will ask you about three things, which only a prophet can answer. What is the first sign of the hour? Do, do you see the whole Islamic story changed? Every Muslim sheikh, he have different report. But yet all of them, they have supposedly one prophet. Uh, what is the first meal people of paradise will eat? Brothers and sisters, this is a very serious question. We will go to paradise, and now the first meal. What is the first meal? Do you believe it or not? Muhammad told them that the first meal will be the liver of the whale. Oof, 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 oof. You know, there is something uh, the, the Arab they believe that if you eat from the whale, especially if you eat amber, which is you cannot eat, I don't know how they can do that, uh, you will have a lot of sexual urge. So, because Islam is a sexual religion and heaven is a sexual pimp, God heaven, so the first meal is a food supposedly will increase your sexual urge so you will be truly 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 her horny so you will eat the liver of the whale not the fish as in the translation he says al -hut. 
And then the same question about if the discharge of the man proceed, the discharge of the women, the you know, then the summarity will be, etc. And uh, and then, brother, after he answered their questions, the Jews they converted to Islam, brother. Now, if we go to the other video, which is a st the story totally changed. Remember, we are talking about the same thing, but the story is very different. Listen carefully. And uh, now we understand that this question is connected with Dajjal, mm. the spirit. Uh, we explained that last night, the Tawfiq Center. And then ask him about the great traveler who traveled to the two ends of the land and then ask him about the young man and the cave. You'll have to excuse me that I have to sip some coffee. Get it, get so it. Get coffee. You I'm need sleepy. a lot of coffee. Go ahead. <laughs> excuse me, I need a lot of coffee. Huh? I'm not getting enough sleep. <laughs> yeah. Ask him about the young man and the cave. And Allah sent down the answers. Hmm. But he sent them in two surahs of the Quran. He sent two of the answers in Surah Al Kaf. Uh, and he sent the third answer in Surah Al Isra, which is a surah before. Do you know why Allah did not send all the answers in one shipment? Because what, you know, the, the, the English they say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I mean, they gave him one, uh, one, one time questions. Three questions at the same time. Why Allah give him here and their question and their answer here and there? What the heck is that? But anyway, go ahead to the answer. Go ahead. Indicating that these two surahs constitute a pair. If these two surahs constitute a pair, and if we have to recite the whole Quran once a month, you know that, don't you? Mm. Answer me. Answer me. So you are teaching your children, aren't you? To recite the whole Quran once a month. This is your first. You have to teach your children to recite the Quran once a month. Not to understand the Quran. Just recite it. Duty to the Quran. Mm. First. Yeah, yeah. All the others come after this. The first duty to the Quran is to recite the whole Quran in Arabic. In Arabic? Once a month. A Pakistani guy. You could guy. do better than that, yes. <laughs> so you have to divide the Quran into 30 parts and you recite one Jews every day. I mean, we were talking about a topic and now suddenly the topic is about reciting the Quran in three parts. Hey, Joe Biden, focus. So on the day when you come to Oh, look like we have to skip here. What the heck with this guy? Okay. Uh, okay. The question, let's see here this one. I explained to you last night that the question concerning the Ruh is connected with the job. And for that, if you don't know, you have to go to my latest book entitled The Quran. Dajjal and the and the Jassad, correct. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down the answers, mm -hmm. notice that nothing happens in the Quran by accident. Mm -hmm. But you have to be a keen observer and you have to be someone who is serious in your attachment with the Quran. And you cannot betray the truth in the Quran and expect that the Quran will open its wisdom to you. Do I need to say more? No, you don't. There are those who betray the truth so that their business can survive. Oh boy. Or so they can keep a job. <laughs> So their name might not go on a no-fly list. That they would not be called terrorists and so on. 
See? Now, look what he was talking about. This is what they speak in the mosque. A true Muslim, if he speak the truth, his name will be in the no-fly terrorist list. Did you hear it? A true Muslim is the one who say it as it is. And the second you say it, you will be where? You will be in the terrorist no flight list, which means you are not allowed to fly in any airplane. There are those who sit on the fence when it comes to truth. When Allah says he sent this ummah with a mission, Amr bil ma'roof, it is the truth. I mean, this guy, let us, let us focus. Where is the topic, man? Okay. So now let us see. Uh, yeah, I thought, I mean, this guy is all over the place. Soviet Union, I'm just, I'm going through the text to see what he's talking about. Okay. And must explain that. Because Allah says he sent the Quran to explain all things. So we have an explanation. They don't, but we do. That this is Gog and Magog bringing them back to the Holy Land. Who brought the Jews back to the Holy Land Who? to reclaim it as their own? Who? Understand? Who? Gog and Magog? Who? Modern Western civilization. And so Gog and Magog are located within modern Western civilization. That is different from what Yasser Qadi said. Guys, Gog and Magog, they live in England. Gog and Magog, they live where? In England. Aman Rabbi Aman. I thought Muhammad, he said the Turkish, and he said they are Asian, and he said they have a small eyes. And he said they are, they sleep inside their ears. Let me look. You know what? I always was wondering. I'm trying just to figure out something. which I could not really understand. But now, by the help of the Islamic sheikhs. So, Gog and Magog, they live in England. And now, if we look at the hair of this guy, isn't it obvious that he is coming through the hole in the wall, which is Gog and Magog trying to open? Otherwise, I challenge you why his hair is always like that. Just think about it. The hole is so narrow and he is trying to go through. What is the first thing will go inside the hole? His head. And what that will do to his hair? As you see. Very simple. The Quran, brother, explained the Quran. So the Quran who explained that there is a wall build between two mountains and there is people by trillions as number all of them they are hiding inside uk and now we cannot find them tell us more have i identified the two no i've not done that i've not said that modern western civilization is gog and magog did i say that no you did not say that i said gog and magog are located within modern western civilization yeah but mine has remained a solitary voice 
for 20 years now. No one else, no one else has come forward. Mm. No, no scholar of Islam has come forward in 20 years <laughs> to say, yes, Imran is right. So now let's go to Surah al -Kaf. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is answering the question about the great traveler. The great traveler, guys. The great traveler, his name now. That is a new name. The great traveler. This guy from YouTube, I think. And he repeats the question. And they question me about someone who is known as Zulkarnain. That's not his name. That's not his name. I don't know his name. And stop. I thought the Quran explained everything. Why does God, they are asking him about Zulkarnain. Why does God don't say his name? <laughs> How many times in this video, this guy, he said the Quran explained everything. Zulkarnain in Arabic means the, the person with the two horn. The one with the two horn. How in the world, the God of Islam, he used such a word. Wearing horns is an act of pagans, the Roman pagans, where they have a hat and it has horn in it. What kind of God he accept to announce that Zulkarnain, the man with the two horn, is a prophet of Allah, and all of us, we knew that this is Alexander the Great. And even the interpretation of the Quran, it says that. I don't want to know his name. It's not important to me. Why? Why is not important? He's known as Zulkarnain. Ah. And Karn can mean a horn. And Karn can mean a generation, a mm. people, an epoch, yeah. an age. So which one is it? The possessor of two horns? Or someone who will impact on two ages? Which one is it? Which one? Proper methodology is since this is located in the Quran, let's go to the Quran. Let the Quran answer the question. Okay. And when we go to the Quran, we find that Allah has always used the word come to mean a generation an age, an epoch, and has never used the word Qarn to mean horn. So the answer is, Zulkarnain is not. Brother, look at this genius. So Zulkarnain, Allah, he used the same word, but it come as a word mean generation. And as long as Allah, he used it in different verses, and it's meant generation, well, obviously, his name is the man with the two generation. <laughs> Why this guy he did live for two hundred years? What generation? One with two horns. Zulkarnain is one who impacts on two ages, two peoples. Mm. He is someone who possesses faith, faith in Allah. The one God. We do not know which Sharia he follows. We do not know who is his Nabi. But that's not important. All that we need to know about him is that he has faith in the one God. That's all. But I will stop here. A Muslim is trying to. <clears throat> A Muslim is trying to fix the, the poopoo of his prophet. Look what he said. Mahdi, he said, the female egg is yellow. <laughs> hey, Abdul, the female egg is yellow. Really? And mostly made of water? Mostly? You, really? And nowhere the Hadith says, can see the water. Really? Okay, Mahdi, in front of everybody. Are you willing to call me right now? And I will show you the word you can see the water. 
Guys, is that a fair challenge between me and Mr. Mahdi? If I can show that it is a water, you, you eat it, you just said water. How the, how the egg, how the egg, when you say the egg, the egg is not water. If, even if there's water inside, only your body is water. We are talking about water, literally water. Secondly, if I show you the word sea, do you accept the challenge? Maddie, do you dare to call me right now? I will open my Skype just for you. Do you dare to call me and get me busted? If the word C is not there, I will apologize from you. So what say you? Do you accept the challenge? Don't change what you said. You said it doesn't say C. It doesn't say C. So if it's an egg, egg is not something we can see. This is your statement. Still, it is fresh on the wall. Do you dare to call me? Did you say... The hadith, does, does it say you can see the water? Nowhere, you said. Which mean, if it says, no, no, I don't, not, I don't wanna just show you. I, wanna, I want you to call me, and then we will read it together. What's wrong? And as long you are saying, nowhere in the hadith it does it say so, that's mean if it, they saw that mean your prophet is a fraud. Is that correct, guys? He is denying that what I say to be true. Why? Because nowhere in the hadith it says, see, nowhere. So are you willing to call me and put me in the corner? Are you there? Okay, I guess now Mahdi, he sees some water between his legs already. And this is why he will never dare to call me. Is that the case, Mr. Mahdi? Did you water your legs? <laughs> hmm? What happened? He played dead now. You know, he thought no, but, uh, he thought I'm talking. I will not notice. Just show me. I will call you later. What about you call me now and I show you later? <laughs> and here we dip the skin. <laughs> Oh. Let us go and see the hadith. And now we will make you pee and seek mercy from the pee god. Do you see the word see? Do you see the word see? This is the story. A woman. Her name is Ummu Salim. She come to the Prophet and she asked him what she should do if she see a water in her legs, in her private part coming out. You idiot. And even the Hadith speak about this charge. Do you see this charge? Do women discharge eggs? By the way, once I was on the beach. This is a true story, by the way. It's what been like many, many, long, long time ago. If you remember once when I went to the island, which have only women have three boobs. Women, they were laying down. And, you know, I said, okay, I will lay down next to them because I'm trying to flirt, you know. Uh, so I lay down next to them. And then I start noticing eggs coming out from between their legs. Like boing, 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 boing. It turned to be 
that the second those women they saw me because I'm so good looking man I cannot I cannot tell you how and then they start discharging eggs you know the whole, the women in the beach they are discharging non-stop and eggs everywhere and then the city hall they came and they gave them a fine because people they start breaking eggs on the beach which is haram haram are you there Mahdi? Are you there? Hmm? You said it doesn't say C. C P. <laughs> Man, look what the prophet said. If the woman she see, did you see it? If the woman she see, did you see it? A brother. So your prophet is an idiot. Face it. Swallow it. Take it. Anyway. <sighs> Do we have any smart Muslim here? Ah, if the, the male sex sales reveal the XY chromosome. Wow, that's so deep. Brother, that is so deep. Guys, look at this. If the male chromosome, chromosome, you idiot, your prophet, he described a discharge, water coming out. You know what? Maybe I don't understand Islam, and you Muslims are the best. So what this guy said? Isn't this guy he just said if the man have orgasm first? Hmm? I have a lot of underage here. He's looking at me. Come on, man. <laughs> He's looking at me. So he told him how it happens. إذا سبق ماء الرجل ماء المرأة في لف وإذا على ماء الرجل ماء المرأة. If the uh, sexual discharge of a man comes before the women. <laughs> or more than the women uh, leave it at that <laughs> they said you spoke the truth <laughs> did you hear it did you did you hear it stupid is amazing uh, chromosome brother the prophet he mean the chromosome the prophet talking about the chromosome let me show you more even your prophet, he claimed that women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. From where? From their ribs. This is a chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. It's like music in my ear, this chapter. It says here, MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Prophet Muhammad explained everything for us. Smashallah. So this is Ibn Kathir, and this is the Quran, and this is your prophet explaining the verse. It says here, He is a created from water gushing forth. So the water we are talking about, it is orgasm, not an egg. Meaning, the sexual fluid that come out Brusting forth from the man and the women come where come out thus the child is a produced from both of them by the permission of Allah now we continue read with me Mahdi read, read and laugh proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy brother one of my biggest concern with women is their ribs if I ever get married I'm going to touch my wife everywhere except her ribs because I might damage them and then she will never have a sperm. Keep your hand away from her ribs. 
First, if you touch her ribs, she will rip you apart. Why? Because this is how she make babies. So we have a religion and we have a prophet who knows how the baby is made. The sperm of the man is coming from the backbone, not from the refrigerator. And this, the sperm of the women, since when women have a sperm, you idiot, come from their ribs, which is referring to her chest. By the way, this is not accurate because the word taraib, and we can show you from Islamic interpretation, is the last bone in the rib, in the top of the rib, between the neck, the, the, the location where it touch, touching the neck. That is taraib. So the stupid Muhammad, he is talking about sexual fluid gashing forth, not something inside, it's have to come out. Then they mix together those both sexual fluid and then they made the baby and the Muslim now they try to fix it says chromosome chromosome.com the prophet taught you how to come the prophet he knows everything about sex and he even can ship it to you by FedEx the chromosome.com coming from Allah oh hum Prophet Muhammad, he knows everything. He is the idiot. No question done. La 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 la. La 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 la. The backbone is the reason. I will break your backbone. Zoom. If your woman, she is bothering you, just go and tickle her ribs. She will have orgasm. And you can sell her sperm. The beautiful Quran driving me crazy. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. What the heck is this, man? He was talking about the time, the discharge, he never said the water come out from her. You coward, he is telling her to wash it, you donkey. Let me show you again. Actually, your prophet here is Ibn Ibn Kathir. He is speaking about the same hadith we mentioned in there. Here we go. Let me see where it says, where is the hadith? <laughs> It says here, sexual fluid bursting forth from the man and <laughs> bursting forth is the women. Egg is a sexual fluid bursting forth. <laughs> it says he's a created from water gashing forth. And then he go up here, he says. <clears throat> uh, uh, let us see. Uh, maybe not in the English version of it, but let's go to the hadith just to get you busted, you coward. Potato, potato, duct tape, the prophet, duct tape. Let us see. Uh, <clears throat> Did the prophet say to the women, You wash that water which is thin and yellow? Did he say that? Yes, he did. Here we go. It's in the front of you. It's about washing that water. Washing that water. Let us see. Uh, where is the hadith? Uh huh. Uh, we go by here this one. First of all, it's water. It is thick and white for the man. It's water and thin yellow for the, man, the woman. Which one of them comes first? The baby resembles the parents. Then we continue. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Let us take this part here. Uh, let us see. And now we will get you busted. 
So this is the story. It's about a woman. She have a wet dream. And she is talking about if she sees water. If she sees water. So this is a water which she can seize. You said to me if you met a go, and nowhere it says seize. Correct? Nowhere it says seize. This is what you said. People are my witness, and you are still here. All right? Nowhere it says sees. This is your argument. And now you are trying to fix it because you are a coward. We continue. The same story, the same hadith is about the same women. Um Salama and Um Salim. Um Salim, she said to him, What she should do, she should take a bath if she sees that discharge. It's a discharge. And then the wife of the prophet, she said, does the women get this charge, which is a proving that your prophet, he never made his wife have orgasm. Uh, guys, look what, look what, uh, look how the Muslim, they tried to change what he just said a few minutes ago. Why Muhammad, he is talking about resembling of the child to the parents? Because the women, she said, his wife, do women discharge? He said yes, otherwise how the child resemble their parents? Do you see how stupid you are? So you're a prophet talking about discharge. So when you say, I know that women come out from the women, but water does not have any role in gender determination. The water that comes out from a woman isn't even yellow. I'm talking about the egg, you stupid donkey. You're a prophet describing that the water which come out is yellow. He is the one calling it discharge. Do you, can you read? So, According to your prophet, that the discharge is the reasoning for the gender. Stop fooling yourself. Everybody is laughing at you. People, does it say the woman, she, the wife of Muhammad, Umm Salama, she smiled and she said, does the women get discharge? Correct? You stupid idiot, discharge is come where? This, look at this donkey, he keeps saying doesn't say yellow. Look, here we go. This is your prophet saying it is yellow. I mean, do you see the stupid, do you see guys that those, this coward nation? It says in the front of you, Muhammad describing the water and saying the water is yellow. And this guy is saying it doesn't uh, say yellow. <laughs> <laughs> nowhere show me where it says water that comes out is yellow i mean how many are you certified donkey how many times i need to show it to you what's wrong with this religion do they have a brain this is your question don't repeat it again i will ban you I will show you now. If you repeat it one more time, I will send you free shipping and handling to Allah. Here we go. So show me where it says the water that comes out is yellow. The beach. Let us see. Here we go. The same story. This is the same story. The water of the man is thick and white. The water of the women is Thin and yellow. And here we go again. Umm Salama told how Umm Salim said to the Prophet of Allah, of God, that God is not ashamed of the truth. If any washing necessarily, washing for a woman when she had a, has a sexual dream, he replied, yes, when she sees a sign of a, of a liquid 
Ummu Salama covered her face and she said, Oh Allah Messenger. And by the way, the here false translation doesn't say sexual dream. The question is, do actually here is the correct. But it's not sexual dream. It's about do she have this charge? Do she have orgasm? He replied, Of course she does. Otherwise, what way does the child resemble her? And then in the version of Al-Bukhari and Muslim, and this is the most accurate, Muslim added in the version of Umm Salim, the man liquid uh, courses and white, and the women fine and yellow. And the child will resemble the parents. Which one of them comes first? So when you say to me, show me where it says it's coming out, you are a liar because she have to wash it. Get out of here, coward, son of Muta. You have no dignity. When you Muslims argue, you are making a mockery of your prophet. All the hadith is about the women seeing the water. All of it about women see and the men see. And it's about discharge. Egg is not a discharge. Women do not discharge eggs. And the women orgasm is a water, according to your prophet. Egg is not an orgasm and has nothing to do with orgasm. She have a sexual dream or not, that is not the case. In fact, the women she have orgasm or not have nothing to do with her having a baby later. Only foolish people can believe in such a thing. To the point actually these days, they can take the egg of the women and they can fertilize it without even sex in the laboratory. All what they need, a sperm of a man, an egg of a woman, and they fertilize them in the laboratory. And the hadith in front of you, the women, she see a sexual dream or she is touching herself. She have this charge. And your prophet says that this charge of the women is yellow. And you coward, you keep saying to me, know where it says. Why it's called this charge? Because it's coming out. What the women she want to know if she need to wash or not? Do the women wash all the way inside her womb? Or she is washing her private part? Do you see how they expose their prophet when they insist with their stupidity? Even the chapter name. Women are obligated to perform ghusl, which means wash, if they emit fluid. I mean, do you see how you expose yourself? Don't come here again. Bring your dad with you. Do you see, guys, the chapter name? People, do you see the chapter name? What is the chapter of the name? The name of the chapter? It's about women. They have to wash if they see a fluid in their vagina. What is the name of the book? Ministration. <laughs> and the potato, he insists that this is not the water, this is not discharge, and this is doesn't say, and this is not outside. When all the book is about washing, what come outside? Do you even know what discharge mean? Cowards. They think by denying they can save the ass of Muhammad. Trust me, the ass of Muhammad have like a billion bullets already from me alone. I made his ass like my screen door. You should see my screen door, by the way. The man discharge, i.e. sperm, thick and white. The women discharge is thin and yellow. Do you see it says discharge? And what is the question about washing the discharge? This woman, she is a whore. She go to a strange man and she tell him that she was touching her vagina. 
and now she is confused. Should she wash her vagina, Prophet? The Prophet is expert in vagina. He said, yes. Yes, you should wash it, okay? Mm. Thanks to Allah, there's no YouTube at that time. Mm. But do you see, guys, how stubborn they are? Not, by the way, they knew that they are lying. A Muslim, when he see his prophet get busted, he feels so bad. He feels so angry. He knew his prophet in his heart is a fraud. So what we do? We defend him by keep lying, like move on. No, I blocked him. I don't want him here no more. I mean, it's, it's a shameful religion. The truth in the front of eye, our eyes, all of us, we can read. And yet they deny. And they say, it doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> it doesn't say that, CP. And by the way, I cannot marry a Muslim woman. Not just because they are Muslims. I mean, I'm worried about women. She have this charge and her charge, this charge is yellow. What is that? This is sexual disease. And look like Muhammad. He never met. He had sex with a woman. She don't have a sexual disease. Otherwise, I challenge you to tell me why the discharge of the women which she's been asked to wash. According to Muhammad, the woman, by the way, she did not say that her discharge was yellow. It was Muhammad who said that this discharge is yellow. And this charge is something she is questioning if she should wash or not. You see, it says, you know, in case a woman sees that, she must take a bath. If this is not something outside, if it is internal deep, then a woman, she cannot wash it. Right? But as I told you, I have to be honest. Once I was once in the island, which is Ibn, Ibn Battuta, he visit. Has anyone heard of Ibn Battuta? Ibn Battuta is a famous, famous YouTuber. But in that time, there's no YouTube. Hmm? Ibn Battuta, he, have a, he wrote a book about journeys he took around the world. And one of the most funny <laughs> story Ibn Battuta he came with, this guy is trying to beat Muhammad. <clears throat> so Ibn Battuta, brother, he went to an island, and this island have a lot, only women actually, there's no, no men. But the unique about this island, which is I'm trying desperately to find, women there, they have three boobs. It's a dream of every man. Finally, there is hope. More boobs is coming. <laughs> oh, Uh, do we have any Muslim have any courage, any knowledge when they tell us what those guys are talking about? So now we find that Gog and Magog they are hiding in England. Huh? Hmm. Ibn Battuta, the Moroccan boy. <clears throat> I'm going to make a book. Uh, do we have any Muslim have any comment about the stupidity of Muhammad? So Muhammad now he discover how the baby is made. Not to forget that the Prophet is the only one who find out where the sun set 
in hot water, spring of water, which is very, very true. I mean, it's discovered to be true. Hmm. Any Abdul? One of uh, the story of Ibn Battuta, there is a guy he did live in, in his time. And this guy is not like, it's not like, we are not talking about the time of Adam and etc. So he met a guy, he is 350 years old. Which is true. You know? Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan here who would like to join us? Yeah, Sufyan, this is Mahdi, he came back. Mahdi, you cannot fix it, because you're a prophet saying that that water you have to wash. You are being stupid again. Try, try, try your best. Mahdi, he went, he changed his name, he came back. Brother, there is two water. Women have two water. Well, your prophet, he said women have one water. Secondly, your prophet is speaking about that water she have to wash. So stop being a liar. Second, number three, your prophet, he claimed that the one who discharged first controlled the gender. So if you try to fix the first one, the second one is wrong. If you try to fix the second one, the third one is wrong. You're a prophet, he got everything wrong. He is just a fraud. The one who discharged first control the gender. Remember that. Can you deny that? The one who discharged first. And the discharge we are talking about is yellow for the women and white for the men. And if you are saying that the yellow water is an egg, that's because you are a fool. Secondly, the discharge of a woman have nothing to do with anything, with her even having a baby or a child. Not only about gender. Women, most of Muslim women, they never have discharge. Why? Because Muslim, they do circumcision for Muslim women. So Muslim women, they cannot have discharge. That Ummu Salama, she have Ummu Salim, she have this charge because this is the beginning of Islam and women still they have their clitoris. Muslim women, they never had orgasm. Because you killed their ability. So what does this charge have to do with baby making? That is the most stupid thing ever to say. Do women who got raped discharge? Are they enjoying it to get to get discharged? You see, you are now adding things. You are again a coward liar. Where you got the word male sex sales? It says the one who discharge first. You see, you see, people. Their prophet is the donkey, and they're trying to make him a mule. Suddenly, now, the discharge become an, a, an X and Y. <laughs> no, no, no. If a male sex prevails, the eggs become more acidic. If it, come, it become more acidic, the egg is going to choose X, Y chromosome. <laughs> okay, I will go with you now. When the women discharge first, how you can switch the sentence in the front of me? I'm listening and I'm waiting for your answer. Your prophet says, if the women discharge first and he described her charge as thin and yellow, the baby will resemble the mother. Now, go. The women discharge first. 
I'm waiting. You can add the chromosome there too. Just fix it, fix it. Think about it. <laughs> if the women discharge first, how that will affect the gender of the baby? Go ahead, go ahead. Discharge first meaning which sperm gender first goes to the egg. And the Hadith says if it prevails. No, it says if it comes first. Sabaqa. Sabaqa. Which means comes first. This is your Muslim, this is your Muslim translation, potato. Do you see it? Even your Muslim translation says, if the women have this charge first. And this charge we are talking about is something we need to wash. Anyway, I'm not going to waste more time with you. You are a donkey like your prophet and you are trying to duct tape. You can do that, no problem. But people are laughing. It's obvious. It's so clear. It is something the women, this woman, she have to wash. It is this charge. It's not a chromosome. You don't wash the chromosome. You cannot wash it. You cannot wash it. And your prophet made it so clear that this charge is a sperm. It is a sperm. And actually, let me try to find different hadith <clears throat> so we can love more. Or let us go to the Quran. Just to show you again that you're a prophet is mentally ill person and he is a fraud. Read carefully. This is the stupid Quran. Chapter 76, verse number 2. Verily, we have created the man from Nutfa. Nutfa. What is Nutfa? Nutfa is a semen. Do you see it? Nutfa is a semen. Somebody's asking me, do Christian women wash? Well, Christian women, uh, not only they wash, they are more clean than your prophet, because when your prophet, he wash, he jump with dead dogs and women of blood from period. This is how your prophet wash. And this is how Muslim women, they wash too, because they have to follow the steps of their prophet. So when you talk about washing, you might think that Muslim, they follow their prophet, they are really washing. In fact, you are getting more dirty because you jump in water, have dead dogs and women of blood from period and a stinking garbage. And this is your shampoo. Do you see it? So when you say, do Christian women, they wash? It is 1000 times better to stay without washing from this washing. What kind of a prophet he jump in water? have dead dogs and women blood from period and a stinking garbage thrown in the water. And this is Sahih Hadith. Now we go back to the Quran. Read and laugh. So the Quran made it so clear. The, the, the baby is created from Nutfa. If I copy the word Nutfa here and take it to the Hadith and just post it or take it in Arabic, what we will find, you will die laughing. Here we go. I will post it here. Let us open a different page. I will pause the word Nutfa, exactly as it is in the Quran in English. Here we go. The word is still in, in, in dark. Do you see it? The same as I copied from the Quran. So what is Nutfa? Nutfa is a drop of sperm. And this Nutfa is the mix of the women water and the man water. Let's go back to the Quran, so we love more. Here we go. Let us close this page. Chapter 76, verse number 2. A drop of mixed semen. So the drop, it's a semen, and it's a mixed semen. Semen from the man, and semen from the women. So that your stupid God believe that women they have a semen the same as the man do you see it 
Can we even make it more clear than this? <laughs> not far. Not far. According to the Quran, the women, she have this charge, and that is a semen. And even your Muslim translator, he add in the bracket, this charge of the man and the women. You liar. You keep saying to me, this is not a charge. This is not coming out. This is not. This is the notfa. It is a mix of a semen. So only in Islam, the God of Islam teach that women, she have a semen. Who want to believe in such a garbage? Only the one who want to follow the stupid Muhammad. Women do not have semen. They don't. Now, if you want me to show you the interpretation of this verse, we can go and get it. Do you want? And then we will die laughing more. Chapter 76, verse number 2. Let us do it. Read and laugh. The mean of the fluid of the man and the fluid of the woman. Do, do you guys, do, does it say fluid? Does it say fluid? It says a fluid, right? When they meet and mix, then the man changes after that from a stage to a stage. The man. <laughs> so according to the stupid Muhammad, it is the man's semen who will grow. And the man's semen will become a baby. Conditions to conditions and color to color. Ikrama and Mujahid and etc. And as they said, the statement of similar in this. And he says, Amshaj, the mixing of the man fluid and the women fluid concerning Allah's statement, etc. If you don't like this one, we can go to the front interpretation. It is see and love more. Mm. Semen, huh? It's a mix of semen. Are you sure it's not a mix of hummus? A mix of semen? That is something. <laughs> This is a new interpretation by a Jalalain. He's trying to fix the Prophet Muhammad's stupidity. And look what he says. It is a drop of mixed fluid from a mixture. That is a, from a seminal fluid of the man and, uh, and the over rain fluid of the women and that have mixed and blended so that we may test him trying what the heck trust him so let us go different interpretation this is the first one let's see Al, Al, uh, Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas is more authentic and accurate because he is the cousin of Muhammad and was existing his time so it says here Lu, we created the man uh, the progeny of the man Adam from a drop of a thick knit fluid from Adam and Eve a drop of two different kind of a fluid that from the man, white and thick, and that from the women is being yellow and thin. Thus the brogmi come from both of them to test him with the hardship and comfort. Comfort. So do you see it? Again, the stupidity of Muhammad is coming. Didn't Muhammad say that we were in backbone of our father before our existence? Exactly. And this is additional stupid thing Muhammad, he said. If you go right now, let me teach you how to find this backbone thing. Just go to YouTube, sorry, the, to the Hadith page. And you will see it says, just type backbone. Oh, I'm typing in Arabic, sorry. Just type backbone. And you will find another proof of Muhammad being stupid, who he claimed that the man sperm is coming from the backbone. The backbone. 
if you remember, there is a there is a video channel for for a bunch of Dawa team, whatever they call themselves. The guy he said that when the prophet he speak about he say the backbone or the Quran say the backbone, he meant the male member. Suddenly the bone became a male member. Look what Muhammad he said. Uh, let us see. Maybe they have. Uh, I'm trying to find the hadith in English so we can love together. Uh, my keyboard keeps switching to English. Hmm. Let us see. Here we go. Read carefully with me. The Prophet said, Allah will say to the person, of the hellfire who will receive the least punishment. If you had everything on earth, would you give it uh, uh, as a ransom to free yourself, i.e. save yourself from fire? He will say yes. Then Allah will say, while you were in the backbone of Adam, I ask you much less than this. And this is again, Prove Muhammad to be a bigger fraud. Why? Because here, according to Muhammad, the man is coming from the backbone of Adam, not a mix of water of the man and the women. You were in the backbone of Adam. Number two, which is stupid believe that we are coming from the backbone as sperm. Anyone here can confirm the backbone story? Any science agree that the semen of the man is coming from the backbone, not from next to the backbone, not from the top of the backbone, not from around five inch there, two inch there. I mean, all your body is a few inches around. Any scientist can confirm that a semen of a man is coming from the backbone. Absolutely false. God made a covenant from Adam back from where Adam back and where his offspring is coming from from his backbone if we go here Let us see. Here we go. Another, ver another, another hadith. It says it clearly what we are looking for. See it? Do we have any Muslim? Have any comment? Huh? Any Muhammadan? Somebody saying in the Bible it says from the lion, my friend, you go there and you check it out. It says that this is the region of the sexual organs. It's not coming from the bones. So don't play game. Play the game there. 
Muhammad, he made it so clear, is coming from the bones. And what bone? Not only the bone, the last bone in the spine. Not from between the bones, from the bone. Do we have any Muhammadan? He have any comment? Anyone? People, obviously, they have, you know, I mean, you are reading translation, and obviously you do not even know English. Go and check out in the dictionary what lions mean, and you will see. A large cut out of meat. That's why when you go to buy even meat, it says lions. Do we have any Abdul? The Arabic word there can also mean loins, not only backbone. Uh, you know, you see, you, you can go around it, but here we have a very clear evidence that Muhammad is a fool and he is making things up. Why? Because Muhammad, when he made the Quran, he said that the semen is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. And this is what make the baby. So, you want to fix the backbone issue, you cannot fix the ribs issue. Can you? Try. I will be happy to hear you. And this is Quran. And Muhammad, he did not say, from the side of the backbone, he said, from the backbone. And the backbone they speak of is the last bone in the spine. The little tiny one at the end. And this is actually goes against what the Quran says in the verse we showed you in chapter 76. Because it says that the baby is created from Amshaj, which is a mix of a semen. Now, how you want to fix that? I want to see your intelligence. A mix of semen. Do women have semen? Go ahead. There's, it's not up to you to say some tafsir. The Quran in front of you. Fix it. I can let you play the game with the tafsir as much as you want. And do you explain the Quran better than your prophet? Your prophet, he spoke about this charge which is coming out. And then you are saying to me some tafsir. Which tafsir? Go show me. Let's, let's love together. Why you don't call me Mahdi? You keep changing your name like a potato. What about you call me and tell me what tafsir to read and we will go and love together. And is this Quran saying that it's a drop of a mixed semen? Guys, isn't it? This is a Quran. It says it's a drop of a mixed semen. I want a brave Muslim to tell me what is semen is mixed. This is the semen of who mixed with the semen of who? Fix it. Go change your name and come back again. Try to fix it. This is a drop of a mixed semen. Semen of who mixed with semen of who? I'm waiting. Give it a try. Doesn't mean semen. Get out of here, son of Muta. Let me block you again. It's in the front of your eyes, and this is your Muslim website. You see, guys, anything, anything we show them in the screen from their own website, from their own translation, from their own Arabic, suddenly now, not for does that mean semen? 
If nutfa does not mean semen, why the Muslim they say semen? I mean, who is the stupid here? If your Quran never says semen, why you Muslim say semen? And if the word nutfa does not mean semen, can you open the dictionary, you coward? I will take the word nutfa and I will post it in the Hadith website in Arabic. Or we can use the same word actually and we can read different verses in the Quran and then people will laugh at you, they will die laughing at you. Here we go. I will paste the same word in the Quran search engine, nutfa. Hmm? Do you see it? What is nutfa? Click at the translation. Sperm drop. Do you believe it? You know, those guys, they say does not mean semen. Do you see how they expose their stupidity? Is that your Quran? Maybe you don't like this translator. Give me a translation you like. This is Yusuf Ali. Hey Muslim, give me a translator you like. This is the eighth translation. Take a note. This is a Da'if translation. Shall we go and see what Ibn Kathir says about it? Oh, this is Da'if interpretation. Okay. Uh, shall we go and see the Hadith? Oh, this is Da'if Hadith. I mean, do you see how covered they are trying to duct tape their false prophet? Semen is a, is a sperm. It's not one semen, actually, the, the, the nutfa is a, is, a, is a drop. And drop, I mean, there's millions. Do you know what is inside a drop of a sperm? Millions, not one semen. So this is a translation is Daif. I want to I want to change the translation one by one. We have how many translation here? I can I'm willing to go by one by one. Ahmed Ali number one in English. Number one in English is Ahmed Ali. Yeah. Ahmed Ali he says drop of semen. What the heck? Let us go to a different one. This is Daif translation Ahmed Ali. Let us go Ahmed Raza Khan. Drop of a fluid. <laughs> Drop of fluid. Albury. A sperm with drop. <laughs> look, look what the Muslims they do. They switched between, like, I think they copy from each other. You know, they are cheating. They don't even translate just to make money. So one of them, he put the, the word to drop first and he add the words sperm after. And supposedly now he is not copying, you know. And the other one, he says a sperm first and the drop after. And that, that does a change. So now they are really not, not copying from each other. It's a, a sperm drop. Different translator. Community Allah. Human being is made from a drop. Now it's a drop. <laughs> oh boy, I'm going to drop you down. Community God, this is the same guy. Hilali Khan, Muhammad Hilali and Khan. Nutfa is a mixed drop of the male and the female sexual discharge. Look, 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 this guy is, is making it even harder for you. Do you see what it says? Huh? It's a drop, not far, is a mixed drop of male and female sexual discharge. Now you tell me how that will make the baby. Any Muslim can tell me? Discharge. The egg is not a discharge. And nutfa is a drop. And now they are mixed together. Actually, your prophet, he claimed that if a nutfa of a man fell into a rock, will make a baby. Let me see if I can find the hadith.
Muhammed is the man. I don't think I can find this one in English, but I will try anyway. Because it's funny, and as long as I remember it now. So let us find it. You see, there's like endless numbers of hadith. Uh, okay, look, look, guys. We we have a we we found a hadith which is really correct. All right, this is a very correct. The prophet. He explained to a Jewish man how the baby is made. Let us use this hadith. And now the Muslim, they will say, we don't accept those hadith. <laughs> we don't accept it, do we? Anything is an embarrassment, they don't accept it. This is Musnad Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. And this is an Islamic uh, website Musnad Imam Ahmad Ahmad ibn Hanbal and then the reporter is from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and then this is value number one page number 465 465 I will use Google translation hadith number 4424 and now we will see the scientific discovery and the science, the true science, the real meaning of science. Nobody knows this except Prophet Muhammad. Let us face it. All what you need to do, I'm going to post the link for you guys. All what you need to do, you click at Google in the side of the page and choose translation. Remember, you need to open this page with Google browser because Google translation only exists in Google browser. Kabich, let us see the surprise for those who try to refute me. Translate to English. Yeah, this page is jumping. So, Musnad uh, Imam Ahmad, uh, the one reporting is Ibn, uh, Ibn Hanbal from Ibn, from, from, from Ibn Mas'ud. It says here. And this page keeps jumping. What the heck with this page? Since we, we chose the translation, it's jumping. Oh, why it's doing that? Okay, let's try this. Okay. So, from the authority of etc., etc., a Jewish passed by the Prophet, Masjid of Allah, Allah pray on him and salute him. He was talking to his companion, a Prophet said, uh, so he come until he down, and etc., he says, what is the man is created? He said, O Jew, who is created from every semen of a man and a woman? Semen. As for the man's semen, it is a thick drop, including bones and nerves. As for the women's semen, it is a thin semen, including the flesh and the blood. The Jew, he stood up and he said, this is what I used to say before. Are you there? Are you still going to argue with me and you say the prophet did not say so? Did your prophet just say that women have semen? And according, yes, this is a package of semen. According to your funny prophet, the women's semen is the one is responsible for the flesh and the blood. The man's semen is responsible for the bones and the nerves.
And guys, did I give the proofs and the reference? Is that a valid reference? This is Musnad Imam Ahmad. What they will say now? Islam is da'if. Islam is da'if. Everything in Islam is da'if. Muhammad is da'if. Let us see if we can find this one in English. Hold on. Different one. Let us see. I'm trying to find maybe we can find it look like it's not in our in the English website even though it should be there uh, let us see if we can find this one here no it can't be found here <coughs> Um. Actually, I have a hadith which is very funny. Uh, Muhammad he claimed that Fatima, his daughter, she is a semen which was a, an apple. This is another level of science. This is Ibn Jawzi, one of the biggest scholars of Islam. And this is his book. And this is from Ibn Abbas. How Muhammad he was able to have Fatima? My friend Muhammad, all your hadith is da'if. This is what we are saying here. You Muslims are da'if religion. When I show you a strong hadith, what you say, you deny it. When I show you the Quran, says not for you, deny it. It is the Quran. It is the Quran. The Quran says not for me a semen. Okay, Muhammad, you are Mahdi coming back. Why you don't call me? And me and you, we are going to open the most accepted Islamic dictionary you accept. Is that fair, people? Why you don't call me? I will open in front of your eyes the most, the description, the, 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 uh, uh, any dictionary you choose. And we will see what not for me. If not for me in semen, it is semen, your prophet is a scam. Read with me here. Ibn Abbas, he said about the story of Fatima. Jibreel, he sent Muhammad, he gave Muhammad an apple. He ate the apple. Then it become as a nutfa in his backbone. And when I came down from the heaven, which means Muhammad, he ate the apple in the heaven. I did if Khadija. And Fatima, she is from that nutfa, which means she is from that apple. Am I making things up? This is Ibn al-Jawzi. And this is the reference. One slash 400. Let us use Google Translation. Peace be upon him. <laughs> the guy who ate apple and the apple became a nutfa became a semen Muhammad here 
is trying to tell you that he was a potent man and after he ate an apple from heaven he can if again and Fatima she was an apple read carefully uh, it says here when I was taken to heaven Gabriel took me to the heaven Gabriel handed me an apple and I ate it and it become a sperm in my backbone when I came down this translation is false it says this guy no it says he jumped on her he effed her I fell onto a Khadija I effed Khadija and so Fatima is from that sperm do you see it what you will say to me is that a Sahih narration guys look at this look at this look at this false religion you Muslims you are confirming that there's nothing is authentic in Islam people be my witness the Muslims are saying to you warning 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 we Muslims are a bunch of liars we lie always about the Prophet we say things when the Prophet never said we put them in books we print them we publish them we spend a lot of money on them but they are lies because we Muslims are a bunch of liars are you saying that to us we know that thank you people did you get the answer of Muhammad he is saying to you that we Muslims we fabricate stories we Muslims we have no authentic Islam we Muslims we disagree and we agree about not to agree we Muslims we lie about our Prophet and we put lies in books and then we publish it and not only that we post it in the internet and not only that we make it in languages and not only that after all the crying and the drama we say it is Daif do you see the stupidity so if this is a true that means Islam is not a trustworthy and nobody can trust a single word in Islam and when you Muslim you say Islam is a preserved obviously it's not and this is what you keep repeating to us every day Islam is not preserved because if Islam is a preserved then what are you saying to us now you are saying it's not and as long Islam is based in what Muhammad said and what Allah said then Islam never been preserved because we cannot trust anything in your books can we the scholar reject gnostic my friend you see the scholars reject the Christians they reject we don't say that if you stupid idiot Do you see how stupid you are? We don't say that if we reject and we don't have it. It's not our book. We have nothing to do with it. You Muslims, you print it, you translate it, you post it, you keep it in your library, you teach it to your kids. But when a Christian, he quoted for you, you say it is that if. Do you see the difference? For us, we are not responsible for lies you Muslims make. And ask yourself, why you, you Muslims don't accept those Gospels, if they are true. Secondly, you mentioned Barnabas. Well, I challenge you to call me and let us read it from Barnabas and we will die laughing at you. Do you accept the Bible of Barnabas from the first century? It's not the Bible, it's not a few, it's a few verses and two pages, three pages. You Muslims are mentally ill. I mean, the hypocrisy of those people are beyond imagination. But now we knew Muhammad, he cannot have sex, but the apple made him have sex. Apple, isn't it apple was the reason to make Adam go out of heaven? Why the angel giving him apple? Hmm? Any Muslim? And not only that. You see, you are a person who keeps saying to me, Daif and authentic, let us use something authentic and love together. 
is this hadith authentic or it's not? And now what you will say, it's authentic, but it's authentic from the kind which is smells so bad, so we reject it. The prophet, the truthful and the receiver of the truth, informed us saying, the creation of the human gathered in the form of semen in the womb of your mother for 40 days. By the way, in Arabic, it doesn't say womb. In Arabic, it says button, which means stomach. You see it? You can take it to Google. You can use Google. I will post the link. You can just click at the same page and uh, translate to Google translation. And you will have both sides in English. And you can compare. So are you going to say now this is a da'if hadith? I'm waiting for you. I'm asking you who is the hypocrite now. Are you going to say that this is a da'if hadith? False. You see, when people lie about Jesus, that is including you. A man, he came 600 years after Jesus. He never met Jesus, yet he knew what happened to Jesus. So why you don't include him? That is you. And not only that, you're a prophet. He copied a lot of his stories from those books. You just said they are lying. You see how you did give a screw to your prophet? You just admitted that those people are lying in those books about Jesus. But you forgot that you're a prophet. He took those stories in the Quran from those books. Like the story of Jesus creating a bird. We know where this story is coming from. And you just admitted that they are lying. Now let us focus with me. Focus, Abdul, focus. Did the other prophet say that you are collected, gathered in the form of semen in the womb for 40 days? People be my witness. The Arabic does not say the baby is created for 40 days in the womb. It has become mudra, where it says that. You, look, look, look at this. It says not far. Get out of here again. Let me block you. I'm not going to talk to you no more. Guys, is it in the front of you? It says, and this is the Muslim website. I mean, people. Those people will drive you crazy if you don't have patience. Do you see how much they lie? Is this a Muslim website? The answer is yes. Is this a Muslim translation? The answer, yes. Is this hadith is authentic? The answer, yes. This is Al-Bukhari and Muslim. And yet, he is saying to us, it's not true. It doesn't say that, CP. So the Muslim in their translation, they say semen, but it's not semen. And notice, the Muslims are very peaceful people. So you, as a Muslim, you make a website. It's called sunnah.com. Millions of Muslims, they go to the website every day. And nobody complain about this. Huh. Nobody. Nobody call and say, hey, brother, why you are saying semen there? Well, it says in Arabic, nutfa. And nutfa is a semen. And we can open the dictionary right now. Nutfa in the Quran always come in as semen. So your translation is a lie, according to you. Your websites are a lie, according to you. Your reference, your proofs, your books is a lie, according to you. We agree. And that's why we are here. We are here to prove that you Muslims are no better than your prophet. He lie, you lie more to cover his lies. And you think by lying more to cover his lies, the first lie is not there no more. I'm showing my proof. I'm not making a statement. This is not a statement. This is a proof. This is a proof. Do 
Do you see it? And how in the world you are collected the drops of semen, they are collected, guys. It's like you have a pot, and now more and more and more semen is coming inside the women for 40 days. Who in the world want to believe such a garbage? And look at this translation here, trying to fix it. Collecting material, brother and sisters. The prophet, he said, collecting material. <laughs> so you are inside your mother womb, and now the womb is collecting material? Brother, can you give me the screwdriver from there? Yes, brother, and don't forget the wrench. Uh -huh. And give me the, the screws too. Don't forget the screws so we can screw them. You are collected material inside your mother womb for 40 nights? What are we collecting? Is that al-Bukhari? And then the collected material for 40 days in the womb of the mother will become a clot of a thick blood for 40 days too. Science. It's a pure science. Is that authentic hadith or this is a collected material full of garbage? <laughs> this is a Bukhari. 40 days, Allah collecting you as a semen. Then 40 days after, you will become a blood, thick blood, a clot of a thick blood for a similar period, 40 days. And then you will become a flesh for a similar period. So the total for the baby to be is 120 days. What you will say? It's a lie. It doesn't say that, CP. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Let us see a different hadith. Mr. Collected Material. You are a collected a drop of semen. And that semen will become a piece of a congealed blood for a similar period, 40 days. Muhammad, he, before he starts saying this story, he watched Ali Baba and the 40 thieves. And since then, he stuck with number 40. Every stage of the baby is 40 days. Check the science, brother. It's true. It's true. It's true. Hmm? 40 days, 40 days, 40 days. You see it? 40 days. Huh? Is that a weak hadith? No. But we will make it hadith because this is an embarrassment. Hmm. The creation of one of you is put together... <laughs> I love it when the Muslim, he tried to mix it with the translation. Listen, listen. Actually, in Arabic, it says Yujma. So he is not, I mean, he's very close in translation. He is put together in his mother womb for 40 days. I mean, look at this, man. You are put together in your mother womb for 40 days? What we put together in 40? What took us 40 days and we are putting together now? Muslims, who want to help? Any Abdul? The answer is very simple. Allah is collecting semen for 40 days. Just go to the previous one because Muhammad repeated the same story many times. And in different hadith, he make it so clear, it is a semen. This is Sahih. Let us see this one. Hmm. This is Sahih. Let us see this one. The same thing. 40 days, 40 days, 40 days. Do you see it? What you will do with this garbage? So you must have you try to cover one mistake, second mistake, third mistake. But as you see, this is endless. And all of this is authentic. Hmm?
Do we have anyone want to try? But I like the hadith about Muhammad eating an apple and the apple became Fatima. <laughs> you know, Muhammad, he forgot that apple was what make Adam get out of heaven. Why you are eating apple? In heaven, why angel giving you apple? Why apple? Stupid. The angel gave him an apple, then he gave and he go and he if his wife. Let me see if I can find this hadith here. Would be good. If not, we can show it in Arabic. No problem. Let us find it in Arabic so we can love more. <clears throat> this guy, he said that the word nutfa does not mean semen. This is the book of Faidul Qadir. Value number six, page number two eight five. Hadith number nine two six five. Muhammad he says, you see, he is using here the word nutfa, which the guy he denied that nutfa is a semen. Nutfa to rajul bayda on galida, wa nutfa to al mar'a safra on raqiqa. Fa'ayyahuma galabat sahibatu fashabahu lahu. So anyone, it is. Uh, uh, become more or he have he have uh, uh, like uh, he have orgasm first or he have more orgasm the baby will look like the person which mean if the women have orgasm first or if the woman she have more orgasm the baby will look like the mother translate to English what is the word nutfa semen the man's semen is white and thick and the women's semen is thin and yellow both are semen and then he says so which one of them has uh, uh, the translation here says overpowered the resemble will be with him and uh, they are all together um, you know which mean they mix together and they make the baby so as you see Muhammad he made it clear that it is an orgasm it is something called discharge and the egg is not an orgasm have nothing to do with orgasm and the women she can have orgasm from now until next year but maybe she will never have an egg because women who have no period no more they have no eggs still they have orgasm as simple as that uh, Let us see the fun hadith. This is an authentic hadith, but we cannot, maybe we cannot find it in English. Um. Yeah, this is. Yeah, but I mean here, another, another stupid of Muhammad, look, he is saying that the drop of semen stay in the womb for 40 nights. This is an agreement with the other hadith. And then he will become a blood of congealed blood. And then he become a blood clot. And then lump and flesh. And then Allah, he sent an angel. Uh, they say the same. 
Let us see more. Look how Muhammad, he cannot even make the same story. He cannot repeat even the same story twice, correct. In the previous story, Muhammad, he said that Jibreel, he gave him an apple. In this hadith, Jibreel gave him a lot of fruits, all kinds of fruits. Let us see which book we can find it. I found it already in Google Library, but Google Library, you cannot translate from Arabic to English. I see it only in Arabic Library. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do something else. All right, I found this one. It's called Mizanul Atidal to the Imam al Dhahabi, volume number two, page number 518. Here, Muhammad repeating the same story, but he is adding more fabrication. In the previous one, Jibril, he gave him an apple. Here, while Muhammad was going uh, in the heaven, he was telling Aisha, he called her Humaira, which means Muslim they say it means a blondie or redhead but in Arabic we know this is a word you say to insult somebody call him a donkey in Allah so when Allah he took me up to heaven he ordered Gabriel so I was entered into the heaven and then he stood me by a tree I never saw something more like more nice smell than this tree and nothing more tasty than its fruit and then Gabriel he came and he start wiping which means he wiped the fruits and he gave me and then Allah he made it from that fruits in my backbone a semen when I went to the earth I did F Khadija and then each time I miss the smell of that tree in heaven, I smell Nahru Fatima, the guy he sniff the chest of his daughter. Translate. So he said to Aisha, uh, O oh, Humaira, he called her Humaira, as we said, Humaira. Uh, the Muslim they say it's mean redhead, which is very weird. I mean, why Aisha? She's a redhead. I mean, she is a European. She is what? Then, when God took me to heaven, Gabriel uh, order uh, Allah he ordered Gabriel actually to enter paradise, which means to make Muhammad enter paradise, and put me next to a tree. I did not see best smell than this tree, nor best fruit. And then Gabriel, he rubbed and he fed me. So God created from, from it, which means this fruit, in my lions, a sperm, a semen. And when I came to the world, I jumped on Khadija. And I did boom boom to her. And she got a child. And each time I miss the scent of that tree, I smell the chest of my daughter. You see the area where the ribs and the neck, this is where Muhammad he smell. So he can smell the tree. Hmm. This is Muhammad. A fraud, a liar, 
a story collector. And by the way, I believe Muhammad never have a child. Fatima never been here as a child for a very simple reason. Her age, secondly, the Muslim don't agree about her age, by the way. But secondly, uh, if Muhammad he can have a child, then all the women he have as wives. How come Khadija, which is the oldest between all of them, and she is really old when he married her, she will give a baby birth, but yet the youngest one or the younger one, they could not. They could not. When Muhammad he died, Aisha she was 18. Why Aisha she never have a child? Not to mention the rest of the women. He cannot. Hmm. Any Abdul? But you see today, it's a great example how the Muslims, they are desperate, try to defend, but they are overwhelmed by their own website. They wish that those websites never, never exist. And actually, I'm very thankful for the Muslims who made those websites. You know, before, when I used to go and speak against this cult, I don't have Google translation like now. Everything is in Arabic. And I have to translate myself. And then what the Muslim, they will say, he's lying. It doesn't say that. He's giving you false translation. Now we have their own website. We have their own translation. And yet we show it to them. We post the link. Everyone knows that this is a website owned by Muslims. And everyone knows that they can go and check those hadith. We have the number. We have the reference. We never say anything without showing the reference. We mention the Quran as an example. The Quran says that man, man is created from a nutfa. The Muslim, they say drop of a mixed semen. Muslim, they say there's no semen. Why Muslim lie to us then? Do we have any Muslim who have anything to say? Hmm? Any proud Muhammadan? <laughs> 